Today I'm going to break down a couple of top butts and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. I'm going to take the picanha off of one and then I'm going to leave the picanha attached to the other. That way if you've ever seen a little bit of a difference in the style of a sirloin, you're going to understand where those two things come from. Now I'm going to pull the picanha off. A lot of people confuse this. We try to even cross label as a tri tip. This is the actual picanha. I'm finished cleaning up this sirloin. It's pretty cleaned up and ready to go. That is a good looking sirloin with the picanha removed. Cut that thicker. These are for the case, so we're going to stick it about three quarters to an inch. Okay, there's one with the picanha removed, trimmed up nice and clean. We could cut those based on any sort of ounce or size, but these are for the case, so I'm going to stick it about three quarters to an inch and leave those whole just like that. Now I'm going to take this one and cut it kind of a traditional way where I leave that picanha on it. Gonna square that up. I'll rework that with some lean meat. And in here. Then I'm gonna work that up later. So little sirloin with the picanha attached. We'll look at the sirloin. that side on his bag. I'm going to take it off. Okay, 
there you go. There's the two style sirloins that you typically see. And I'm going to tell you personal preference. If I'm going to pick one out, I'm taking this guy right here for a couple of reasons. I like the picanha attached to mine. I also like the fat on the top side. Nothing wrong with these. But I'm going to choose these guys right over here. So if you would, why don't you go ahead and in the comments below, let us know which one you'd like.